It occurred to me this week as I was researching the story about Bring Your Bible to School Day that in a lot of ways, all of these right-wing Christian groups just meld together in my mind. You know, I found myself thinking, focus on the families. That's not the Brian Fisher one. Is that the Josh Duggar one? No, wait, is, it's, is that the Pat, Pat Robertson one? And then it occurred to me that if after nearly three years of following this religious news cycle, I can't keep all the constitutionally dubious taxes on right-wing Christian political lobbying organizations straight, it's got to be damn tricky for the casual consumer of the news. And with ambiguous and anodyne names like Focus on the Family, the Family Research Council, the American Family Association, the Alliance Defending Freedom, the Vague American Center for Vague Law and Vague Justice, and the Council for National Policy, one could be forgiven for thinking that the inability of the average American to distinguish between them, or glean any knowledge whatsoever of what they do from their title, is more of a feature than a bug. Clearly. So over the next couple of months, Heath and I will be highlighting a few of these organizations in an effort to shed some light on a bunch of assholes that would rather not be exposed and then dig deep into them to find out what kind of shit they're hiding deep within. And as much as it sounds like I'm talking about anally raping Christians, I'm not. Oh, okay. He's not. He's not. No. So we'll start this off by asking, what the fuck is Focus on the Family? Oh, so now you're doing the echoey thing. And it feels good. No, yeah, Enjoyed okay. It. That's that's good. I mean, you know, normally I do the AKA thing, but it's not like it's not like my apology thing. accepted. <laughs> Focus on the family was founded in 1977 by psychologist and evangelical lunatic James Dobson, with the stated goal of promoting interdenominational cooperation towards socially conservative issues. Dobson would then go on to found the Family Research Council as well, a mere four years later. Which is the Duggar one. That is the Duggar one. And that one also has the exact same stated goal. Now, Focus on the Family dubs itself a parachurch organization, which basically means an organization that gets all the tax-exempt benefits from churchdom without the bothersome encumbrance of actually having a church. Instead, they seek to organize within churches with the message that it doesn't matter if they can agree on basic fundamental doctrines of their shared faith, as long as they can agree that fags are bad and zygotes are good. And according to their grandiose mission statement, the group exists for the purposes of, quote, nurturing and defending the God-ordained institution of the family and promoting biblical truths worldwide, end quote. Mm -hmm. Which, when decrypted out of self-congratulatory Christian code phrases, translates to keeping the fags away from children and subordinating science to our preferred mythology. Exactly. And when they talk about nurturing and defending the family, by the way, they're talking about the institution of the family. They don't nurture and defend actual physical of course not. families. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what the social welfare programs that they lobby against are for. They're they just right? there to make sure <laughs> that the term family is safe from the constant threat of no longer having minimum and maximum genital requirements. <laughs> well, to be fair... Their website does offer a wide range of mythology-based solutions to common parental issues, you know, like chronic illness, debt, gay children. Yeah, that kind of Standard thing. stuff. I believe their feature article this week was spanking in the Bible. Do I really have to keep using the rod? <laughs> Which I believe was a follow-up to last month's article about whether the 48-hour slave rule counts for battered children. <laughs> Which, by the way, it does, at least for the brown kids. Unfortunately, yeah. And that was coupled, of course, with an article on how to find a psychologist that will help you plead insanity. <laughs> Very useful website. So with an annual tax-exempt revenue of over $100 million a year, the group that exists almost entirely to organize people for political purposes is staunchly against premarital sex... Unless, of course, you're fucking the Establishment Clause. Yeah, I, I mean, that. in a lot of ways, Focus on the Family is like the bizarro, scathing atheist. I, right. I mean, they promote Christianity. We promote reason. They have a lot of money. We do not. We pay taxes. They do not. They suck badger nuts. But we have no policy on that. <laughs> no, no stated policy, no. And you could very literally swap out the for and against titles on their stated values, and you'd pretty much have my exact list of political priorities in order of importance. <laughs> right. Well, they never explicitly state that they're against masturbation, but mm -hmm. they say pornography is no good, and that's close enough. So, yeah. Yeah. Right with you. Opposite. So, according to their Wikipedia page, in the four column, we have God. Jesus' dad, by the way, to be clear. Yeah, that, that's that one. That one, yeah, exactly. Also, abstinence-only education, creationism, school prayer, traditional gender roles, whatever the fuck that means, corporal punishment, and straight adoption. That's right. <laughs> straight adoption is one of the things they felt the need to come out in favor of, as opposed to the people who are against straight couples adopting. <laughs> 
And in the against column, they have abortion, divorce, gambling, same-sex marriage, LGBT adoption. Right, right. Because yeah, unambiguously <laughs> implying it, that's just not no, enough. Not, right. Also, pornography, premarital sex, and substance abuse. I agree with these people on absolutely no things. None of the things, yeah. No common ground here. And, and by the way, I'm a huge fan of abortion. I, maybe it's different for women, but I, I have a great time. You <laughs> hang out in the waiting room, you crack a few beers, dudes slapping five, congratulating <laughs> you, passing out cigars. It's great. These focus on the family people have no idea what they're missing, at least the men. It's a terrible list. Right, right. And, like, honestly, if they'd come out in favor of that's what she said jokes, this would be the exact reverse of my list. <laughs> Now, while they dabble their fingers in a lot of pies, the group considers their primary mission disenfranchising the gays, obviously. While they couch this in a lot of double talk about biblical definitions, their continued silence on the issue of dowries, concubines, and virgin stoning is more than enough to betray the homophobia agenda. Yeah, they're also the founders of the ex-gay ministry Love One Out, which was later sold to another Christian organization and then later disbanded by the new owners who then apologized for the four years of harm to the LGBT community that the group did under their stewardship. By the way, Focus on the Family has yet to apologize for the 11 years of harm the group did before the other guys bought it, Right. if you're keeping score. Of course, Focus on the Family's 501c3 status prevents them from directly endorsing political candidates, but... They're Christian, so they mm -hmm. endorsed Huckabee anyway and told the IRS to go fuck itself. And to their credit, the IRS went ahead and fucked itself rather enthusiastically. Yeah. They seemed to enjoy it. Like they wanted to do that anyway. Now, they're also notorious for misrepresenting the findings of social scientists in an effort to support their antiquated views on human sexuality. While head of the group, James Dobson cited a study that he said proved that heterosexual couples make better parents without divulging the fact that the study he was talking about was comparing heterosexual couples to single parents, not gay couples. <laughs> important distinction. Yeah, exactly. Now, this was by no means an isolated incident, by the way, as he went on later to support gay conversion therapy by citing studies that showed increased risks of suicide in gay teens without divulging the fact that we're all pretty sure that's because of assholes like James Dobson. You did that. Exactly. Like, that's the reason they're committing suicide is because of assholes like you, bro. Right. And uh, you also may remember Focus on the Family as the negligent jackasses who bought ad time during Super Bowl 44 so that Tim Tebow's mom could encourage women to ignore the doctors who say they might die without an abortion. Right. Yes. The Homicide message here commercial. was that doctors recommended that she have an abortion and her baby came out just fine. So before you abort, consider that you might be killing the future fourth round Eagles quarterback who was <laughs> cut in the preseason or, or Beethoven. You never know. And despite violating the NFL's longstanding policy of rejecting advocacy ads in the Super Bowl, the ad was allowed and remains the only advocacy ad ever aired on the Super Bowl. Right. Except, of course, the other one that Focus on the Family managed to run. And it's also worth noting, somewhat off subject, that Tim Tebow was born in the fucking Philippines where abortion was and is illegal, making the story about doctors recommending that she abort complete, obvious, and verifiable bullshit. It's time to self-deport, bro. So, <laughs> bottom line... This group is awful, illegal, destructive, and also terrifyingly large. Yes. Focus on the Family has affiliates in at least 13 countries, a headquarters big enough to demand its own zip code, a nine-figure annual operating budget, an unconstitutional tax exemption, a daily radio broadcast that airs in 44 countries and seven languages, books, videos, websites, and teaching resources. Did I miss anything? A lot of stupid shit. I can't believe you forgot the magazine. And a fucking magazine. Fuck them and their magazine. So I guess the only major question about Focus on the Family that we left unanswered is, how bullshit is it? We're, we're not doing that. This is, this is a different bit. I know, I know. I just I didn't get to do the echoey thing earlier. So. 